Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss one problem on prompt cantilever beam in which we need to calculate the collapse load for this beam. Okay. So basically, this is the prompt cantilever beam which on which this UD, UDL load is acting. Okay. So we need to find this collapse load. Collapse load or you can say that intensity of uh, UDL at collapse. Okay. So at collapse. So basically, this beam is statically indeterminate to 1 degree. Static indeterminacy of this beam is basically 1. Why 1? Because 1 vertical reaction, 1 moment at this, at this support and 1 vertical reaction at this point. So total number of reactions are 3, equilibrium equations are 2. So this is equals to 1, right? So basically, this beam is statically, static indeterminacy of this beam is basically 1. So number of plastic hinges required, number of plastic hinge at collapse will be 2 okay so this is and we need to solve this problem by static method static or you can say that equilibrium method as we already discussed in this last lecture in the previous lectures that this equilibrium method we need to write equilibrium equation in terms of moment okay where we will be using the conditions summation m equals to 0 summation f equals to 0 okay so these are our equilibrium conditions and we write equilibrium equation or static equ equation in terms of in terms of in terms of moment okay so now this beam is statically indeterminate to 1 degree so i am treating this ra ra as so not RA, MA as redundant. Okay, when I am treating MA as redundant, the direction I am assuming, the direction will be like this, MA direction will be like this. Okay, so now first I will draw the free body, free BMD diagram. Okay, I will break this beam into two parts. One part will look like this. This is acting upon this is acting by on you on this on UDL is acting this intensity is in W per kilonewton meter okay now when we consider this uh, R M A as redundant this will act like this okay so these this is equivalent to this thing okay so we need to find the collapse load for this beam, right? So first I will be writing the equilibrium equation at this center point. At this, I'm writing the equilibrium equation at this center point, okay? So if you draw bending moment diagram of this figure, if you draw bending moment diagram, or you can say that a free BMD, free BMD, it will look like this. And the maximum moment will occur at the center. This value is W L square by eight. No doubt in no doubt in this, right? Now, when we consider the red, uh, redundant, the loading conditions look like this. Okay. Due to this, the bending moment diagram will start from negative. Okay. Because we consider this direction as positive, so this is clockwise this is this is anti clockwise so it will it will start from negative and at this end this is zero so basically this is negative and this value is m a okay so this is positive bending moment diagram this is negative bending moment diagram okay so if you write the equilibrium equation at this point c if you write the equilibrium equation at this point c and this c is l by 2 distance from both the supports okay so if you write the equilibrium equation moment net moment at c mc will be equals to wl square by 8 minus of ma by 2 right this is the equilibrium equation why it is equilibrium equation we have derived while deriving the equation we will use this thing summation m0 summation f0 okay when the, at this end the moment is ma so at the center by linear interpolation i can write this will be ma by 2 
So this is positive, this is negative. So net moment at C will be WL square by 8 minus MA by MA, MA upon my 2. Okay, there should be no doubt in this, right? Now, so this is our equilibrium condition or you can say that moment, equilibrium moment at C. Now, now we will identify the location of plastic hinges where the plastic hinges will form, okay? So, so this is the location of the plastic hinge which we derived in the last lecture. So this, this location is point four one four two L. Okay. And one plastic hinge is formed, will form at this A point. So this is A and let us suppose this is D point and this is B, right? So this distance is 0.4142 L, okay? Now, now this is the equilibrium equation. So one plastic hinge, hinge will form at D point and one plastic hinge will form at A point, okay? And we also said this thing at D, shear force will be zero, okay? So I can write RB equals to 0.4142 L, WL okay if you draw the free body diagram of this thing it will look like this there will be RA RB so here this is moment MP this is again MP at this point there will be RA and there is a moment MP okay so RB, I can write 0.4142 WL, okay? And this is the point C. Okay, guys. So, at C, at C, moment At C moment moment value is at C at C M C will be M C moment value will be point four one four two W L into L by two okay and minus and minus point four one four two W L whole square over me 2. This is due to UDL. Not this thing. So this will be 0.5 W into 0.5 L into 0.5 L divided by 2. So this will, this is equals to MC moment. Okay. So we'll be calculating the value of this MC and we'll be, we'll put this value at the, in this equation. Okay, so this value is 0.4142 divided by 2 minus 0 0.5 into 0.5 divided by 2. So this value is 0 0.0821 WL square, which is this is equals to MC. And you know that at MA, the plastic hinge will be there. If you want to satisfy the mechanism condition, for the mechanism condition, one plastic hinge should form at A and one plastic hinge should form at D, right? So this MA will be equals to MP. At this moment, this, this point, the moment will be MP by two. This is during the mechanism condition because for mechanism, we, we, need, to, we need to have two hinges, okay? So MP moment, MA will be equals to MP and at this point, it will be MP by two, right? So if you put if you put this thing mc equals to 0.0821 wl square equals to wl square by 8 equals minus of mp by 2 right so uh, i can write 0.125 So this is equals to 
माइनस पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू नाइन इक्वल्स टू माइनस एम पी बाई टू सो माइनस माइनस केवल कैंसिल आउट इच अदर सो दिस इज इन टू डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वायर सो इन टू टू सो दिस डब्ल्यू विल बी टू डब्ल्यू सो एम पी इज कमिंग आउट टू बी हेयर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट फाइव एट डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वायर ओके सो वी नीड टू फाइंड बेसिकली दी कोलैप्स लोड वेर डब्ल्यू विल बी इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू यू सो दिस विल बी इलेवन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव एल स्क्वायर इन टू एम पी इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू यू ओके सो दिस इज द कोलैप्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द कोलैप्स लोड after the after there is mechanism condition okay so at the collapse three we need to satisfy three conditions okay equilibrium condition will be automatically satisfied because all we are already we are writing this equilibrium equation okay our starting thing is we we are using equilibrium condition so we need to we need not to satisfy the equilibrium condition okay next thing is mechanism mechanism is all is also satisfied because two plastic hinges are formed right now next condition is last uh, yield condition whether it is satisfied or not we'll see so if you draw the bending moment diagram of this thing at this point the moment is mp okay so it will start from here and at this point d point this is d this is a the moment is again mp so it will be it will look like this so you can see that this is the bending moment diagram at the collapse okay so this value is mp and this value is mp so you can see that anywhere is in the beam moment is always less than equals to mp so that means yield condition is also satisfied okay so if yield condition is satisfied that means this is basically our true collapse load okay true collapse load so we satisfied three conditions yield condition mechanism mechanism and equilibrium okay equilibrium condition we need not to check because we are already uh, already forming this equilibrium equation at the starting okay our analysis first and st starting point of our analysis is to form the equilibrium equation so no need to satisfy this no need to check verify this thing it will be already in equilibrium okay because we derive this thing through equilibrium only right so this is the condition so this is our true collapse load which is so the value at the collapse this value of w will be 11.65 mp del l square this mp value will be given to you okay this mp value will be given to you and you need to calculate the collapse load of this collapse load for this uh, prop cantilever okay so this is our true collapse load and we solve this problem by using the concept of equilibrium okay or static method right so this is the one problem very good problem on equilibrium method okay guys so if you have any doubt regarding this you can write in the comment section We will be meeting in the next lecture.